YouTube, it's Millware again with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is going to be on generating random text with a button. Now this is a follow on tutorial from my generating random numbers tutorial and that can be found here. Um, and this tutorial was suggested by Jonathan Marcox and his channel can appear there. I've got an example here of what we're going to be making. And as you can see it's our old Xcode project but now we generate text. And as you can see, it generates loads of text uh, randomly. So I've got comment, rate, subscribe, uh, subscribe again, hi. You know, so it's generating random text. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, open up our old Xcode project for uh, random numbers. And uh, what we'll be doing in this tutorial is we'll basically be generating, using the random numbers to generate uh, the text. So whatever number it generates, it will then put our piece of text for it. Um, so we don't need any extra outlets for this, we just need to go into the .m uh, and we need to delete this label.txt that we created. And now you've got to come up with all the things you want to randomly generate. So if, you, if you've got, let's say, six different um, outcomes, so you've got hello, goodbye, welcome, all sorts of stuff like that, um, and you've got all them, that's what you're going to set your random number to be. So if you've got seven, you're going to set your random number to seven. If you've got five, you're going to set it to five. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it at ten, and I'm going to come up with some ten random words to put in. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to use a switch case um, to switch between different outcomes depending on what this random number turns out to be. Um, so if we go below the random number now, and we're going to type in switch, and it should automatically complete. Um, and our expression is going to be the random number, and the expression means what's changing, what's going to be the, the main part of this. Um, and the case just means what case is it, what, what um, format is this random number in. So at the moment, we're going to have zero. So if the random number equals zero, then label dot text space equals space and I'm just gonna put a random one in um, I'm gonna put X code like that and semicolon that and then after the break you have to make sure it's after the break you're gonna type another entry and you can put case again and it should come up with the same thing and this time it's gonna be one and then on the statements it's gonna be a different text so I'm gonna put another one here um, I don't know books um, and basically you just carry on doing this constantly. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'll add in a load of random things and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, all the cases go from zero all the way up to nine. Now you might be a bit confused by this because you're going, hold on, we've got 10 random numbers. Why have you gone up to nine? That's because zero is a number as well. So you don't forget zero because if we counted these as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, because zero is a number. So if you've got ten different things, make sure you start from zero because if you don't start from zero, then the label's just going to appear blank because there's no text there. Um, so as you can see, I've got loads of different things. And um, don't forget, you can put sentences in here as well. I uh, don't know why, but for some reason I've got a random 40 million. Um, but, you know, you can use this app for jokes or something like that. So, you know, you can have a load of random jokes put in here. So like knock knock, who's there or whatever. You know, um, whatever, baby names, something like that. But this basically generates all these words randomly. Now, the more you have the less they will appear, because in my example you saw that they appeared quite often, each different word appeared multiple times in a couple of clicks, but the more you have, the less often they will appear. Um, so make sure you don't go up to 10, you go up to 9, or 1 less than whatever you have, make sure you include 0, and uh, now we can build a run and see it work. Um, and here you go, here's our old thing. Uh, you can change the UI to generate text instead, but I just left it and as you can see it's now generating our different words so as I click it you've got house 40 million Xcode USB mouse mouse again speakers house speakers again 40 million as you can see the things are appearing again and again because we've only got 10 of them but if you had 50 then you have one in 50 chance of seeing it twice in a row so there you go guys there's a tutorial on how to generate random text um, I'm open to suggestions at the moment for tutorials that you want me to do, so leave them in the comments below or send me a message. Um, hope this helps, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you on my next tutorial.